and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Hello. Wednesday edition. We are back. <laughs> we made it back. Um, we were in Miami, mm -hmm. but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you're watching Zero Page Homebrew Live, uh, where we play new games on classic consoles. And tonight we're going to be playing Ladybug. Woo. Ladybug with a purpose. And the purpose is to get a high score. Okay. In um, the homebrew tournament round four. Excellent. Um, so, you know, at least we'll get on the board. Yeah. And that's what's important. Yeah. And having fun mm -hmm. is important. Uh, we'll check out how big the scores are. I bet we... they're pretty high. <laughs> they're always high. Yeah. And it, they should be. I mean, it's a competition. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it should be difficult to get a decent score. Yes. Um, but hopefully we can, like, place somewhere above 10th <laughs> and not just get one point. Get multiple points, hopefully. Fair enough. Um, hello out there in live out in the chat. Let's see who is here tonight with us. Uh, Arena Foot. Uh, how did I just say that? Arena Foot? Yeah. <laughs> Arena Foot. Yeah. Uh, Tiki Dan K, Mr. Fix, Ice Posta. Yeah. Ada Man, uh, Mr. Fix, a tasty sandwich, and Ground Trooper, Wade Rain just said hello. Hello. Um, and did I say I is supposed to? Oh, I'll say him twice. If I didn't. <laughs> Fair. And they're all like, Ladybug! Woo! Welcome back, Ladybug Special Edition. Coleco Cart Box Manual Everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Limited number two. <laughs> I'm just going to turn that off so you can see what number I have. And it is number 26. Ooh, fancy. There we go. Number 26. In a made made with my favorite kind of labeling uh, gun. Yes? Yeah. Oh, that one just yeah. on the Where red? It just, just pushes in the... <laughs> it raises up the... Um, Oh, the, the image of the letters. Did you so do you have pushes, one of those guns when when you were like in school, like my, in high school? Oh, or see, something? my dad had one, and we would just label all kinds of stuff with those with those labeling guns. And it, it's like the, the the plastic adhesive and it strip, just pushes through, and it right? just pushes the the um, the white has like underneath. a die, and you just squish it. You just oh, kind of squish it in, and so it, it doesn't, creates that raised surface. So so it doesn't like put ink on it. No, there's no it ink. It just pushes through. It just pushes through, and the part that gets pushed through becomes white. And so you well, that's smart. The... Yeah. Um, it's all manual. You know? It's like yeah, all just physical. Like a typewriter, it's, it's like a, almost. Yeah, it's like a dog. Except no ink. It's all yeah. there. Anyway. Hello, Atari Nostalgia. Spot. <laughs> Welcome. And uh, and uh, let's see. Arena Foot has number 72. Ground Trooper has number 92. Um, I think I bought mine at Portland Retro Gaming Expo... 2013 the first okay. first year we went yeah and it just happened to be selling ladybug at that time mm. um even number sold at prge in 2015 mm -hmm. okay so 2015 is when we got it that would make sense yes um and jared gray west welcome Hello. everybody's filing in including oh. the cats and this guy's got, being trouble we've so. got pixel here who, yeah. who we may have to kick out and yeah. we have atari who's Hidden sleeping under the down. lettering a little bit. Yeah, sleeping down at our at our um, hips here. Yeah, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. um, who support the channel. Ada Man, Atari Spot, a whole bunch of people that are actually in here. Tasty Sandwich, Carcass, Charles and Check, Ground Trooper, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Tiki Dan K, who are on the screen right over there as well. I think <laughs> I've got them all. I hope I have all the names up there. I try and keep them up to date. Nice. And you can support the show and subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. Yes. And you just click subscribe as long as you have um, Twitch linked up. Um, or you can even um, send some cash our way so we can uh, mm -hmm. buy more games at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. <laughs> <laughs> so why we were away? Well, it was a very big deal why we were away. Um, we were very sad to not do the show, but mm -hmm. uh, we did have to go away to something that is not sad which was the world premiere mm -hmm. of my documentary film mm -hmm. um that uh we went to miami yes. and it was very sunny 
It was like 30, oh, it's 32 Celsius. We've never been to Miami before. I don't know what it is in freedom units. but would go back tomorrow uh, in freedom units. <laughs> I, can't, I was, don't know, 100? It 100, was like between 32 and with, with Humidex it was even higher. So yeah, it was like 40. Close to 100, I guess. Yeah, it was I, very I, I, warm. My conversion especially, was not yeah, so good. Especially but it was, quite, it was quite warm. And what I got down there um, at the film festival where we showed our world yeah. premiere is an award. <laughs> Um, so we won the Founders Award 2018 at the Miami Fashion Film Festival. Mm. And this cat is going to be trouble. I just know it. Am I going to toss him? Uh, yes. Yeah. So we did really well. And the audience really loved the film. And uh, the film is A Perfect 14. I'll just type it in the chat. If anybody really cares about what I do as a day job. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. Yeah. Um, all the way down to number one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was fun. And mm. uh, the trip was fu really good. The beach was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The water was the warmest water I've ever been in. And, and he won't go into water unless it is basically bathtub. Bath. Yes. Yeah. And it was temperature. that close to yeah. bathtub it temperature. It was really nice. So. <laughs> so I was totally fine with going in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Which is shocking, but. Yeah, so that's why we were away, but yes. we're back yes. and ready for some more gaming. Will the film be on YouTube or Twitch? Twitch. Hmm. I don't think films go on Twitch. Um, that would be interesting. Yeah, we're going to do the film festival circuit for the next half year to whatever, nine months, and then it will be online and... Usually I'll, it goes through different formats. Yeah, you know, different... it might go video on demand or maybe Netflix just depends on if a distributor it decides up. they want to put it somewhere. But... Yep. It'll but go. eventually, yes. Yes, it will, it will yeah. be online, video on demand, for sure, somewhere. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, next piece of news. Uh, we are going to Portland Retro Gaming Yay. Expo Yay. in about a month. I know, I'm I so think excited. I think it's 22nd or something. Mm -hmm. So three weeks. That's really exciting. Yeah. And we'll be doing some interviewing there, talking to some uh, programmers, developers, distributors of... 2600 games nice. and i've got quite the list of who's who that we'll be interviewing actually um yeah albert yaruso everybody knows al at atari age of course 19th mm -hmm. to the 20, 21st thanks arena foot so two three weeks um john shampoo who happened to make a little game mm -hmm. this game nice. and the game we'll be playing on friday which is wizard of war arcade uh, he's uh, Champ Games. That's his, uh, oh, okay. company his company that he releases all the games under. Uh, Nathan Tolbear, programmer of Anguna and the hardware developer of a piece of hardware that I'm not going to show today because that's for Friday. <laughs> um, but you'll see it on Friday. And also Dan Kitchen I'll be interviewing. <laughs> who uh, <Woo>. did uh, <laughs> Crackpots, Ghostbusters, Kung Fu Master, F-14 Tomcat, Crossbow, River Raid 2, Double Dragon, Akari Warriors, and of course, his new games, Keystone Capers 2, and the other game where you're piloting the uh, the boat that crashes. <laughs> the Titanic. Titanic. And I can't remember the name of the game right yeah, now. Yeah. Tiki Tan Dan K can fill you in on that yeah, one. Yeah. They may not even be the eventual names of the games. I know that Keystone Cavers 2 is obviously not going to be mm. the eventual name, but it's a placeholder right now. So we'll be interviewing those four people. And if you know anybody else that's a 2600 uh, programmer or distributor that's going to be at the Portland, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, please let me know so I can get in touch with them. Mm -hmm. And we can uh, put them on film and then show all you guys uh, what questions we ask them mm -hmm. about their upcoming games and their history and... Everything about homebrew that uh, is awesome. Dan and will his, be bro his brother be at the interview? I don't know. Maybe he will. Maybe not. Maybe he's going on his own. Um, so some... Uh, speaking of Portland Retro Gaming Expo... Oh, not just yet. Some game, A game that we played a little bit while ago. Very strange game. High score, screen burn, slow burn. <laughs> you pro you didn't play it, but I don't it was know if I played it. play it. it <clears throat> bon Voyage. There's the name of it. Bon Voyage. There we Such go. a happy, happy name <laughs> for Titanic. For Titanic. Bon Voyage. Yeah. So that's that's going to be an interesting game. Yeah. But anyway, hi, uh, HSSB, um, a game that you don't really play. Like it says, players one or fewer. 
It's like an automatic playing game where this little thing moves around and collects points randomly and you can kind of influence it a little bit. It's very interesting. Anyway, it came out on cartridge. Um, 24.49 at 8 bit classics. So if anybody wants to buy that, it is available. Estimated playtime, six to 12 months. Because you can just let it go. You don't die in the game. It just keeps playing and the high score just keeps going on. It's one of those games, I don't know if you ever played uh, one on your phone where you don't actually play it. You just keep checking in on it every once in a while <laughs> to see how your character does. No, I have not played one of those games. It's bizarre. That's crazy. It's like a zero player game. That's so bizarre. Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Not very really fun. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, those are available now. And some games that are coming out at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo from Atari Age. Uh, Dungeon 2 Solstice, uh, which we will be playing coming up. I'll probably schedule that in before PRGE so that we'll at least be able to play it before it goes on sale. Uh, oh, he's going to drag Gary and Dave Crane to the interview. Love Very it. cool. Yeah. <laughs> so all three brothers there. That would be awesome. Um, Sheep It Up Atari uh, on the Atari 2600 by Dr. Ludos is kind of a one of those vertical jumping games and you're okay. a sheep and Aww. you have to attach yourself to velcro <laughs> velcro platforms oh i like that yeah it's it's yeah. it's super cute and like it was originally on i think like an ios mm. you know platform, platform. And then, yeah. and then somebody uh ported it to the 2600 yeah, that will be quite an interview with the three brothers. Mm -hmm. I'll have to come up with uh, questions for all of them now. <laughs> um, Space Game by Carl Garrison and Maggie Vogel. It's also going to be on sale, um, which I haven't played yet. Uh, Balloon Trip, which we have played. Mm -hmm. That one is going to be in my pocket. It's We're going we're gonna to buy that one. Mm. Balloon Trip is so much fun by mm -hmm. Blue Swimmer. Oh, it was a really good game. Yeah. yeah so I really enjoyed that game. So that one is going to be uh, for sale as well. Oh, good. So that one, and I'll probably be buying Dungeon 2 as well um, there. Um, there's going to be a bunch of demos as well mm. um, that are not for sale, but people can try out because they're not ready just yet. Mm -hmm. um, Amoeba Jump. Nice. Is going to be demoed there. Nice. Nice. And... Uh, on Wednesday, we'll be seeing the final version of Amoeba Jump. We'll be playing. Mm -hmm. You won't be playing. But actually, you could jump in and play with us. Yeah, why yep. not? It is amazing, the upgrades he has done. Oh, it really? Beautiful. Oh, nice. So much. It was pretty fun before. It's different now. Is it really? It's quite a bit different. Nice. Having um, some fun with that game, for yes. sure, playing around with it a lot. So it yeah. is done, and I don't know why it's only demo. I guess it's not quite like the, the timing didn't work out mm. um, to sell it, or maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it'll be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and we'll be playing it on Wednesday mm. uh, next, uh, next week. Mm. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff there. Oh, and Wizard of War Arcade, which we'll be playing on Friday, will also be demoed at uh, PRGE as well mm -hmm. um, because uh, John Shampoo is going to be there so you mm -hmm. can uh, play against him mm. against the developer <laughs> nice. so that is fun um, so now we're on to Ladybug yes. which we have played before yes um, but we're going to be playing it for high scores this time okay and uh, let's we'll see what see the high goes. scores are <laughs> the lowest score uh, is 5,200 is only seven people on the board Yes, so we right now? are going to be on the board. We are right now, right as now. of like when an, did this an start? hour this, ago. When did this this, this round start? It's September? every month. Yeah, September. So this oh, is September. September's almost over then. Well, I scheduled it for Friday. Okay. Um, but the Wizard of War didn't work out. Um, no, we, are, we did some unfortunately. testing of it. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of testing of it. It is like not quite ready yet. Um, John Champo said to blame it on surgery he had today. Oh, no. On his eye. Very sorry, and I hope yes. that goes well for you. Uh, he's recovering John. right now. Yeah. And even though he's recovering, uh, he's still working on the game and sending me versions of it. Yeah. He's actually, like, almost blind in one eye right now. Oh, John. <laughs> um, so he said to blame it on that, but yeah. really he's still working, so I can't blame it on his yeah. surgery. Oh, yeah. yeah, hopefully John, you get yeah, better. John, yeah, good luck. Um, I hope you feel better soon, and I hope yes. uh, the surgery goes well, and yeah. not too many 
side effects or yeah so far so good so, he hasn't said yeah, anything good bad luck. about it um wow. so why not wow today i'm i'm explaining it, I'm explaining <laughs> it. um i don't want to say exactly but there's still some technical issues that is like would ruin the experience right now mm. um uh, so we want to present it properly at a hundred percent um um, but it's not, it's not quite working. It's because of an incompatibility with my specific hardware, um, oh, which okay. is actually a good thing because other people have noticed this incompatibility as well. Okay. So fixing it on my hardware will actually fix it for some other people's oh, hardware good. as well. Yeah, that's good. Um, so it, <clears throat> we are working through the bugs and uh, we've pretty much narrowed it down why it's happening. But we'll we'll get we'll get to it. Okay. So we're pretty hopeful for Friday, and I think we'll be able to do it. It, it, I mean, it's still a work in progress. It's not a done game. No. So there's still a lot of work to do. That be. being said, yep. I got to play it a little bit with you to test things out. Yeah. And it's pretty fun. Yes, and it's a so, two-player game, so that is. It's awesome. really awesome. Yeah, that part of it is really awesome, and um, yeah, yeah, I I, I did really enjoy. Yeah. yeah, it'll be a fun one. To play. It'll be really fun. Yeah. So that's scheduled for Friday at six p.m. Okay, is that going to be okay? Yeah, I'll make Just dinner make sure early. Get, so get home from work. Shovel it in, and <laughs> yeah, I'll have it already. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so, but that's we're gonna actually coincidentally, this is his game as well. Excellent. And so <laughs> we're gonna be playing Champ Games all week. Yeah. Uh, by John Champo, I guess it'd be Champ. Champo. Shampoo? But his name, but the company's name is Champ Games. It what? could be Champ Games. No, no, Champ, Champ works. <laughs> it too. works, yeah. Uh, Champ, I, I depends it how how French you are in your pronunciation of it. We'll know soon, because <laughs> yeah. we'll be interviewing him. We'll get him to say his name. Champo. Champ. Champo. Champo. Or it could be Champ. Oh, actually, we're not going to play yet. I have things to open. Oh. Unpa oh. Unboxing. Unboxing. That's fun. Um, so let's see what's in this package. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this. Mm. Uh, John Champo and his brother were Champ Games. His brother will be at PRGE. Mm. Uh, his brother not part of it? I haven't heard the, uh, any Champo brothers thing, so I guess, uh, might be able to talk to him too. So this comes from, uh, Michigan. But we won't say who, because it's a person. <laughs> if it was a company name, I would say it. Um... I think I know what it is. I'm pretty certain I know what it is. You terrify me with that knife every single time. Because I'm cutting towards myself? Well, and you could probably just use scissors, which would be a lot safer. <laughs> mm, well, scissors might cut into something. And this is a little bit more, uh, like, away from, like, I'm anything that could be in it. Anyway, I'll rip it now. I'll keep my distance. Okay. There we go. How about that? Yay, unboxing! Yay! It's a very, very small thing in here. Oh, my goodness. It's tiny. Now I'm almost certain I know what it is. Oh, the kitty wants to be with his brother. So we have to let both kitties out. Or you can open the door again until he misbehaves and then See, we kick him out again. Cat um, so this is, I think, not Atari 2600 related, but it is homebrew related. Okay. A little bit, I think. I'm almost certain. No, I'm closing the door. Why? What? Okay. Cats weren't misbehaving. No, but you'll know oh, in a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Poof. Huh. Okay, here we go. So this isn't what I was expecting, but I think I know that. Th oh, this is the uh, RGB uh, board okay. and kit, RGB kit for Intellivision. So this will boost up my Intellivision to really nice output. Okay. So that I can play some Intellivision homebrew on the channel eventually. Oh, okay. Yes. And because I do want to make sure the broadcast is the highest quality possible. Nice. Um, and so this, I believe, goes on the chip, this little thing. Mm -hmm. And then you just um, solder a couple wires. It looked like I could do it myself. Mm -hmm. And I may not need Darcy's help. Okay. Because I did buy a soldering gun. Oh, that's good. And I bought some wires too, so I think I should be able to do it. Yeah, it's Intellivision RGB board, mm. um, which is the highest quality output mm. you can get from an analog machine. 
So that would act exactly like the Atari 2600. Okay. And it would output to the Frame Meister, and then I would, that would upscale it to 720. Okay. And uh, then stream it out through HDMI okay. to all of you people. So what was the issue with the... Like, were you able to stream in television without this board? Oh, you can. Yeah. But you'd have to take the garbagest output, which oh. is RF, which carries the audio and video on the same on line, the same line. Okay. which makes the video terrible and the audio a bit grungy. Mm. Then you'd have to take that into um, something that is like a VCR. I would probably use a VCR. That would take it in, and then it would output it on composite. Okay. And, or S video, depending on your VCR. But I only have composite. And then you could take composite into the frame Into the frame master. But it's all. Bleh. It wouldn't be great. I have a total of zero in television homebrews. <laughs> so at PRG, I will be looking for some now that I have the possibility. But I do have for my Intellivision the LTO Flash which enables me to play any homebrew that has been released on ROM. Oh. So if they if it's on cartridge only, I can't play it, obviously. Yeah. But I could play tons and tons of games just through this. Oh, cool. So that allows me to do a lot without having any homebrews. But I will take a look for some that at the PRGE, mm -hmm. do some research, see what's out, see what the newest things are. And uh, I don't know when I'll be able to get that soldered. I am like swamped <laughs> swamped with it's work true. it's it's true and this is my fun time yeah that i get to kind of relax and play some games yeah and well well as far as the soldering um that yep. can probably wait for post prg uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. No. yeah lto flash sorry equals a harmony card it's the equivalent okay. of the atari 2600 harmony card yeah you put in an sd card yes an sd card and it has a menu and you play games cool so you can play all that the makes classic it very games. Easy, yeah. Oh yeah, so nice. Play all the classic games or new homebrews. And now this one is a big box, and it is from Packrat Video Games, uh, which is a uh, fairly big distributor, uh, oh, really? mostly Vectrex, but some Atari Twenty Six Hundred, I believe. I, I was going to say yes. you need to uh, modify your Vectrex so that you can run it through the frame. List. That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. Can you tell, can you tell <laughs> me why that doesn't work? Uh, I yeah. Well, I can't tell you. I just know it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a laser against a phosphorescent screen. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's it's a laser that goes like this. Yeah. And doesn't go, it doesn't go like this. Yeah. That would be amazing. I just said it for your reaction. That's all. <laughs> Did you? Oh, you're bad. Uh, uh, I suppose it says left turn only flash card. You need DK Arcade. Okay. Not, I'm not a huge Donkey Kong fan. It's really hard and mm. not very rewarding to me. Like the original Donkey Kong? Like, Any, like they're all, all of them, right? All Donkey Kong. Uh, yeah. Well, no, not like the, the more, the oh, more. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the original games. one. The it's, original games, yeah. No. I'm thinking Donkey Kong Country. Don no, no, that's I'm a not good a big, one. That's a platformer. Yeah, yeah, no, the, not the platformers. No, I, I agree. I, I find it quite challenging. Very. Oh, my God. Donkey yeah. Kong Shop. Vectrex is not an impossibility to do on the show. Yeah. Because all you have to do is point a camera, a camera at it. At it. Yeah, and you do the same. You could, like, put a put the Vectrex there. Yeah. And then we're here. Well, I, I, I mean, like you have your your little uh, webcam on the um, Atari Twenty Six Hundred yeah. that quite easily could just be set up to point at the Vectrex. But... Well, no, because no? Vectrex is, would mess that completely up. But, but there's you know somebody I mean. who has yeah. already cornered the market in Vectrex, and that's Vec Roly. He is the ma He has everything Vectrex. Oh, really? I mean, it doesn't, as far as I know, stream live. Yeah. But he his channel is like nobody can touch him. Yeah. Nobody can touch him. Yeah. He is amazing for that. Um, and he has like everything ever released for the Vectrex. And he mm. gets all the the prototypes and homebrews and stuff. Wow, there is a lot of stuff in here. Hey, there's well, not. nothing saying we still can't play some of those games. No, that's true. We could do some streaming of it. Vectrex is quite a unique system. But it'd have to be it's homebrew. Quite interesting. Yeah, we can do homebrew. And I do. I'm I sure there must be. I have a lot of Vectrex, Vectrex homebrew, homebrew, actually, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, including this. Ah, very nice. So I've got Bits and Bytes, which is a collection of seven games. Vector Pong, Frogs and Flies, Hex, um, a Space Race, Quick Shot, Doodle, and Vector Clock. And I think I bought this for Frogs and Flies. 
Um, yes, or Hex, because that's a space game. That one is good. The Vectrex test cartridge, so I can make sure my Vectrexes are outputting properly. Mm. You know, it does the lines to make sure they're straight. Nice. And some audio sound test, intensity test, adjust. Yeah, that's not a game. <laughs> but it is handy to have um, test cartridges for your system, especially when you can fix them. Uh, if you yes. can't fix them, all you're doing is like, yep, it's broken. Yeah, <laughs> you're just confirming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. And I got release, which looks amazing, which is kind of a shooter game. I like shooters. And Carl Quape which is Frogger, essentially. I don't know why they called it uh, Carl Quape. Oh, he's named Carl. <laughs> and he just needs to get home quickly. Oh, nice. And I don't think there's any overlays with this. Nope, nope. just the cartridges. It says. Of course, they have pictures with nice colored overlays in them. So I guess you just get some generic overlays because that's like a purple one. And this one mm -hmm. goes from green to purple on the back. Um, so lots of fun games there. Mm -hmm. We're playing on the Vectrexes, which are above there. We've got a couple in here, so that's good. Put those over by the door. Mm -hmm. And that is the unboxing for today. Um, I do unboxing live now because it's a whole lot of effort <laughs> to do an edited unboxing yeah. and nobody watches them. So because well. they're not very exciting. Oh. So might as well just include them, do it live. Mm. And yeah. so now it's time for the game. Sorry to do that, but yeah. <laughs> I think you might be interested in it. So there weren't any Atari games in there. I, I can't remember what I order. So <laughs> now, just come. 10 stars. I have everything Vectrex. Everything. Really? Do you have Mindstorm 2? <laughs> Can you sell it to me? <laughs> okay, so let's pop it in. Play some Ladybug. <laughs> and get some high scores. So there you go. So let me turn that down. Looks like a very... I think it just starts when you put it in. For some reason, it just starts. So, let me get the volume good. There we go. So, let's read about Ladybug. And, and John actually sent me some information as well. Some little fun tidbits. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. At its essence, it is a Pac-Man game. Yeah. Eat the dots. But there's a little, there's a lot more to it, actually. Um, so let me get out my notes. Let's talk about the tournament first. So every month there's a homebrew tournament all the way to December this year. I don't think it started at January, but we have competed in each month. And this month is Ladybug. Last month was Star Castle, which kicked my ass. It was so hard. <laughs> I did get some points, but so hard. And so I'm hoping that I can do a little bit better in the rankings on this one. Can't guarantee it because there's some uh, there's some pretty good players out there of every game. Yeah, don't get the skulls. Yeah, no, I mean you want to lead the no. baddies into the skulls, and you want to get yeah. the dots around the center first because they're oh they're, really because they're not coming out yet. Quick, 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 quick. There you go. <laughs> okay. So the round end, ends of September 30th. Okay. And I did plan it for the 28th so that it was like right at the end because then we know we, what we have to shoot for. Because in previous months, we played a little bit earlier and then didn't get another chance to play. And and then we didn't get the high, as high of a score. Oh, another display routine that made me better. Uh, mm -hmm. Which difficulty switch? What, what, what? 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 Oh, just different colors, he says. So we'll try that one. Thank you, Ice Posta. So we'll try the green difficulty switch because some, like, it flashes a lot, this game. Oh, to yeah. To draw it does. that because it's quite a complex maze for the 2600. Like, a really complex maze. No, that's, that's worse. I think we did that before because at least this is purple and not purple. The other color is, like, two colors. Yeah. So we'll keep it on this. This is a very flashy game. So you just have to... Oh, you got him. You lured him in. 
So the, the scores right now go from 5,200. So you've already beat that. So good job. <laughs> so now you're in uh, seventh place. Uh, then the highest score is the Oyama family, uh, 349,000. Wow. You're almost there. <laughs> no? No. No, you have to play quite a bit. Um, the next score up from the bottom is AGB uh, with 14,000. I think that's attainable. Because that's not much higher. Because you're almost halfway there. And you still have a ladybug left. The next one up is quite a jump. 72,000. Uh, and then 128,000. Then 205. Then 254. The other stream looks better at not purple. Ah! You think? You think it looks better at not purple? Oh, it's really flashing there. Yeah, the other one flashes between two colors, though. Oh. So, okay, I'll put it on the green, and you guys can vote. Let's see. So it's green and kind of blue. Okay, I'll leave it on this one for a while. Oh. Um, so, the, <laughs> so the scores are pretty high. Oh, you didn't make the... Oh, come on. 14. You gotta get up to 14. Okay, you keep going. Um, oh. Over here? Um, maybe, because it was, was put out in 2006. I'm pretty sure Arcade, that's the default. Yeah. So we have to play on Arcade. Okay. Um, I will read, though, to make sure. Uh, let's read the instructions on the tournament to see <laughs> you've come in. Difficulty to play, standard. So, yes, the one we're on. Uh, any other notes? Oh, left difficulty to B position is the faster ladybug. So do you want to be faster or slower? Oh, faster, please. Okay. Is that faster? It's hard to say. A little bit, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's to restart. Um, difficulty switch set to B, novice position, factory default, standard skill. That's fine. Um, oh, the, the high score of all time is 573. See, look at that. Look at that crazy flashing. You think that's better? I don't know. We'll keep it on that. You guys can... Uh, so, uh, Wade Rain uh, votes on purple. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one vote for purple. That's all we have so far. Anybody else want to vote for green or purple? So far, purple's winning. So we might switch back unless people like the green. Um, you do... For for the big scores, you want to spell special and extra. Special and... Oh, in order? No, not in order. Any order. But special has to be red and extra has to be green so you know how the the, the letters change color oh uh, so they change from green uh, sorry yellow to red to blue blue does nothing oh i see so that l have to be the same color so l you need to get as red right now but it only goes for like a second like really quick so it is very difficult so t you'd want yellow so you have to stick around it. There it is. Yellow, 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 yellow. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, too oh. late. And A can be red or yellow. Yeah, obviously. I but see. But you got a blue. Yeah, I get but it. But it's only on those colors for a very short period of time. But you get tons of points. And I think you have to get all of the hearts in the same color for multipliers. Oh. So you oh. want to get the hearts first to get multipliers. But don't take my... Remember, red eyes, red P, red eye, red P, okay, red eyes, red P, ready, red P, funny, that's one way to think about it, oh, Atari has come back, um, okay, my strategy, Retro Goober says, my strategy at each screen at the start, clear the center, then when turns blue, get all three blue hearts as quick as possible. Keeping the gates uniformly closed and open is a key to wall off the baddies, as well as traps to steer them into the skulls. So yeah, definitely the center is the one to go for first. 
cleared oh, that out yeah. because otherwise they're hanging around there and releasing every so often. Yeah. Oh yeah, once they start getting released, it's pretty darn... It's pretty hard. And somebody else says I usually go for the blue hearts first as well to increase the score yeah. multiplier and mostly concentrate on getting extra. Haven't uh, tried to get special yet, so that's the way to rack up points. So I think extra is extra life. Let's see, uh, T, we've already, already got T. Okay. Hearts, get all the hearts. Blue hearts, center first. Center, center, center. There you go. <laughs> they go straight uh, after you. No, you know what? There's, there's a, there's a trick to um, going around quarters to block them off. And I'm uh, not very good at that. Yet. Stream looks better purple. So that's two for purple. Purple, three for purple. Going back to purple. That's what I thought. You're trying to convince me otherwise. It's better purple. Because purple is only one color. And it flashes. Well, it's two purple colors, so it's not as bad when it's flashing. Or no, it's purple and not purple. That's what it is. So let's go to the actual instructions and read those out. Um, so the box and the instructions he made look like totally legitimate retro came out in the 80s look like you can't even tell his name's not on it anywhere it says coleco on it by universal <gasps> the cartridge is an actual coleco cartridge yeah, yeah that they I scavenged right out of other games whatever the cheapest atari 2600 coleco vision game is and like everything looks super legitimate so that's what uh, yeah. John Shampo was going for with this. And it's very, very convincing, that's for sure. So, video cartridge for use with the Atari Video Computer System and Sears Video Arcade. Yeah. Use your joystick controller with this cartridge. Your control of a hungry ladybug. Using the joysticks, help her traverse a tricky maze, gobbling up dots and hearts. But also, in her path are poisonous skulls. And just when she thinks she's in the clear, ravenous insects begin to pursue her. Dodge them by passing around the tur through the turnstiles, but be careful about it or they'll sneak through right behind her and continue the chase. With Will the ladybug gobble up all the dots and thwart her pursuers or become a tasty tidbit for her? There you go. 15040. Arena foot. Oh, he is. He's keeping track. Good Should've job. Should have gotten the fruit in the center once. I'll yes, I know. I saw fruit. it there. I wonder yeah. how much the fruit is worth. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's worth a lot. Didn't okay. quite get there, though. Do you want to skip the silly instructions with mm -hmm. the 4x3 retro television in there? That's hilarious. That is awesome. Oh, and they also have the TV game switch box. <laughs> Ugh. Nice. Ugh. Nice. Okay, so... What are we talking about? How? Here's how to play? Start there or the control stick. Maybe the top one, using your controls. Using your controls. Red button con controls <laughs> control stick. Um, very simple diagram uh, of the Atari 2600 controller. Use left controller, hold it with the red button to your upper left towards the TV. What? Ah. Oh, you twiddled the knob. What? Oh, just the, uh, it got the ball unscrewed. was coming off. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Oh, got an eye. Oh. 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 Uh, control stick. Pushing the control stick in any of four directions. Up, down, left, or right causes Ladybug to move in the direction oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. selected. Yep. That it does. Red button. Press the red button to begin a game. It is not used during play. Okay. Here's how to play. Step one, the choice is yours. Move the control stick left or right, or use the select switch to choose between three skill levels. Novice is the easiest. Arcade plays much like the arcade game. Advanced is more challenging than the arcade version. Mm, okay. Press the red button or reset to begin. If you accidentally make the wrong choice, press select and choose again. Step two, enter the ladybug. Enter the ladybug? Yep. The maze screen appears, Ladybug glides in and stops below the bug box. You're ready to begin. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. oh, you got him. Yay! 8,000 on the first level. Step three, the feast. Move Ladybug through the maze. She's a hungry sort, eating as many dots, hearts, and letters she can find. Watch the color of the hearts and letters Ladybug eats. Red hearts and letters are worth the most. 
red hearts and lettuce. Red yeah. hearts? Red hearts. Oh, so, but blue's easier to get. Oh, sorry. Yeah, red hearts and letters are worth the most. Blue blue must be easiest. Yeah. It is, so it's like, just get the blue. <laughs> P, P, oh! <laughs> so the X, I want yellow. Yeah. The E, I want either red. There we go. Lots of points. Now it's just gobbling up the dots. Like a Pac-Man. So multiplier score. Eat one blue heart and double your score for the rest of the play, le play level. Eat another right. blue heart and your score triples. Eat the third blue heart and your score will be multiplied by five. Wow. So I don't know where the red hearts come in because... they says they're worth more. Just in general? They're worth more, but I guess they don't double your, um, your oh, score. Oh, so they has to be blue. Yeah. I'll stay with blue until otherwise told. That makes sense. Oh, he died on his own. I know. Silly dude. 19,000. Oh, you're kicking my butt. <laughs> uh, step five extra. Each maze features three letters. Eat the letters when they're yellow to spell the word extra and the extra bonus indicator. When you spell extra, you automatically finish the maze and earn a bonus ladybug. Step six, special. Eat the letters when they're red to spell the word, word special. In the special bonus indicator, when when you spell special, you automatically automatically finish the maze and win a vegetable harvest bonus screen. Hooray! Vegetable harvest bonus screen. That sounds like fun. <laughs> and a chance for extra points. Eat as many veggies as you can before time runs out, then move on to the next level of gameplay. They look like um, praying mantises. They are, I think. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Or chickens ready for roasting. Yeah, they do look kind of chicken-like, don't they? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Step seven. The chase begins. When the tying border changes color completely, a predatory Ugh. insect leaves the bug box to chase ladybug. Avoid predatory insects by steering ladybug through the turnstiles. But be careful, if a predator follows ladybug closely enough, it can slip through the turnstile and catch her. Ah, yeah, so don't let them get too close. Yeah. Or... Yay. Yay! I wish I still had my C64. I burned it up as a kid. Burned it up. <laughs> Don't burn C64s. That's terrible. <laughs> oh. Get the hearts. Get the hearts. Get them. There's lots of time for blue. Oh, Yay, now I didn't get two. the center. Oh, I was so dumb. That was oh. dumber. <laughs> stupid. <clears throat> stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Step nine, a vegetable a snack. An a. After all of the predatory insects have left the bug box, a vegetable appears there. Guide your ladybug into the box for a feast of points. I haven't played long enough the to do that The predatory insects will stop in their tracks for a few seconds when you eat the vegetable. But remember, if a predatory insect is eliminated by a skull, the vegetable is immediately replaced by the eliminated insect. After the oh. timing border changes color again, that insect emerges from the bug, bug box to chase. Oh, Lady it's the border. More. It's the border that dictates when they come out. Yes. Okay. Oh, you didn't. You didn't realize. I didn't. That. I didn't know what the border was. Uh, was for. Was yeah. for like what was it indicating? No, it means another baddie's about to be released. I guess I'll get that first. I don't know if it's the dots that ends the game or everything. You have to get question. everything. Yeah. Oh, he burned it up from use. Well, it's probably the power supply that burned it up because C64 power supplies are notoriously terrible. And it's the f and if you ever buy a C64, do not use the original power supply. It will destroy it most likely. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Step 10, going to a new maze. When Ladybug has eaten all the dots, Ladybug. hearts and letters in the maze, another full maze appears. Oh, For forgetting. more action, Step 11, starting over. Press reset and the title screen appears so you can play Ladybug again. And step 12, changing the game. Use the TV type switch to pause or resume your game. Use the left difficulty switch Damn to it. change the speed of your Ladybug. B is normal, A is for players looking for even more challenge. And then use the right difficulty switch to change the color of the maze. Right. Your turn. Is 30... there only two colors? Yes, there is. Hmm. And we've all determined that purple <clears throat> is the most happy with the stream. All right. So I got 35 something something. No, arcade. 35860, which placed me solidly still not good. 
Oh, you have to do. Game start? It says press the button, right? No, that's not the right button. B. There you oh, go. Oh. A does nothing. Yeah. C does some things in some games, uh -huh. but not this. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. So that puts me in uh, sixth place with a long way to go for fifth. Mm -hmm. I have to double, double my score. Parsley game over. So here's some interesting uh, tidbits uh, that John Shampoo passed along today to me because uh, he saw that I was playing this game. And we've been talking for days now trying to get uh, uh, Wizard of War. I keep wanting to call it World of Warcraft. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's W-O-W, -W, Wizard of War. Wizard of War Arcade. Um, but we're very close um, to getting it working. Uh, he says, I was inspired to make this because it was my fa a mom's favorite game. And it is a very fun game. It is very fun. Um, the Wizard of War. I did... I played it on um, the Atari 2600 and also my C64 as well. Oh, they said you're on arcade. Did you set it to arcade? Yeah, I thought that's what no, you no, said no. to set. No. What's wrong with arcade? Not oh, us? arcade, yeah, sorry. Destroyed my game. Blame my supposed to. Yes, it's, it's supposed to be arcade. I'm not blaming Not novice. novice. <laughs> not novice. I should have looked it up. I just wanted to make sure you were on arcade, because it doesn't say. Um, yes, it's supposed to be the default. I'm pretty sure. I don't think novice is. Let me just double check that. Now you're making me rethink what I'm supposed to set it to. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's on novice. We better be playing on novice. Use factory default, normally standard skill. Somebody said standard. Is there, there's no standard, is there? It's novice and arcade and hard. Yeah, novice, arcade, and advanced. So standard is an arcade level. Just wanted to be make sure this this may be labeled differently than the 2006 cart. Okay. So the 2006 cart looks different than this one? You do need all I the guess... letters, by the way. For what? To complete the screen. Because I got all the dots, oh. but the letters were remaining. So. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Because it acts like almost like a dot. Um, right difficulty is used to adjust brightness. Left B is better because you move faster, but anyone could choose left. Uh, right difficulty. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's it's normal. We're playing with the last one. Right one, sorry. Correct uh, level. Uh, Ladybug was announced in a Coleco catalog back in 1983, but never released. No word of, on it if it was started. So they did plan to put it on the 2600, but it never came out. Oh, Black Label, Black Cart. Oh, so this is kind of a special edition then, because it's on the Coleco oh, cart. Nice. Mm. Uh, there was an April Fool's joke in the early 2000s where Digital Press announced they had found the long-lost Ladybug prototype. So there's no prototype that exists so far. They sometimes find it, just like Keystone Capers too. They just turn up. The game is 16K, 100% uh, 6502 assembly with no additional hardware or memory, and could have feasibly been released back in the 80s. Most likely mid-80s when 16K was more popular. So this, um, he did program it um, with pure code, no coprocessor. Um, so, like he said, it could have been released no problem um, back uh, when <laughs> the system was put out. It's still doing pretty well. No. Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, he said it's currently number three all time for Atari age homebrews. I guess sales, because you can sort them by popularity in the store. So I guess that's what he's referring to. Was number two for the longest time before being bumped by Halo 2600. Uh, synth cart holds another number one spot. Interesting. So a musical cart is the best-selling Atari age cart. There are a couple of Easter eggs in the game. Three, I believe. See, that's a, I always 
wonder how it's possible to have an Easter egg in a game like this. Like, how can there be... I want to trap on the right-hand side. There you go. Because, do you, like, walk outside the maze somehow for an Easter egg? I don't know. Or in this screen, do you press something or move? Like, what kind of Easter eggs could there be? Oh, somebody might know. Mr. Fix says, Go, Tanya, go! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I should put, like, little names above us here. I think that would be good. Little names? Yeah, little names. Our <laughs> names, but tiny in the small window. Like, they don't want to be super tiny, but they'd fill up the little spot. That might be good. Because most of the time we spend in this view. This is the beginning. But maybe not. What do you guys think? Should I put our names above here, too, in this window? Um, as opposed to just the main window? Would it be helpful? Might be. Why not? Uh, another thing to switch before every show, though. <laughs> A lot of things to click every show if somebody changes. Uh, the version you have posted is the collector's edition released a few years ago, which is the one I have, which is a very cool looking one. Uh, as a what if scenario, if Coleco had released uh, the game back in the 80s, the only difference is, is that they are individually numbered in the cart, 0 to 99 on startup, mm. and mine is number 26. And the Coleco logo is on the title page. And the right difficulty switch will toggle between an all pink maze. B. I guess it's pink, not purple. Mm. Um, simulating what Coleco may have done. Similar to the all blue maze in Mousetrap. And an A, which is a pink green combo maze that was used in the original version in 2006. So that, the one we have it on, is just on this cart. Oh, okay. That pink maze, which is good because the other one is terrible for streaming. <laughs> it looks really bad. Um, the A difficulty controls the speed of the ladybug. B is fast, which we're on. A is slow. The propeller on the title screen will spin faster or slower based on the selection. Ah, slow, fast. Very cool. Different title screen, same ladybug game. Ah, not quite the same. Different colors of the maze. <laughs> I just read it out. So did you finish off the manual? Reading the manual, I pretty much? I think I got through most of it. I don't know if I got through all of it. Oh, oh sleepy warm cat. cat. Oh, he's so... I think you did get... Pliable and warm. I think you did get... I got through most through of most it. Through most of it, yes. Just the credits and the release. And... Yep. So let's see if I can beat my... Whatever score. 30? 30, was it? 30-something? I've already, I've already forgotten. Because <laughs> it was... Like getting distracted and forgetting to go for the center first. Yeah. And then the blue hearts. Mm -hmm. And then the letters. Not T. There we go. Ah, oh, hey, hey, hey. All right. Yay, good job. Great stuff. Now C I need in red, but it's so hard. You just kind of have to hang around. Oh, well, yeah. It's so difficult. See, it's already gone to yellow. Does the color of the letters coincide at all with the, the points? Not the points, but the pattern around the edge. I think. Oh, at the timing, you mean? Yeah, because. Maybe. I don't know. Like halfway through, like before it releases one of those bugs, does it go to red again? Of course, they're all gone now, so I can't tell. It's too many bugs. Yeah, there are a lot of them. They do follow you pretty closely, though. So it's pretty... Ah! That was terrible! Your first maze. It's hard, though, but when I... they start releasing all the bugs, unless you kill some off. Yeah, but unlike other games, when the level starts over, it's actually easier to finish. It, it. is, it is. Sometimes yeah. some games are Which like, nope, of, start from where you were. It's kind of nice because it gives you a bit of a, an advantage, yeah. Red C, C. Red C, C. <laughs> Extra E. So I do need the E in yellow. Oh, he's purring. He's so happy. So happy. Okay, I need that yellow. There we go. And I need... Oh, what am I doing? It's okay. Blue. This still says two times. Yeah. Oh, no, one. Wouldn't it be? You restarted a level. But the... No, see, it's still... That's two oh, times. Oh, so... Because it restarts with your level. 
I know. Yeah. But with the three hearts, it's actually... Yeah, but it has, they have to be blue. Yes. Right? And it goes up to five times when you get three blue hearts, yeah. not three times. That's the problem. So if I got all three blue hearts, mm. then it would have been five times. Yay, one of them died. Poor buggies. Two of them died. Oh, they're... And flash, I forgot flash, to flash. get the center. Oh, but I got it anyway. That's not good. Almost done the maze. Nope, not that way. There's a bug. Whatever that is. Praying mantis? I don't know what those guys are. You got big eyes. Stick bugs? Maybe. Purple praying mantis? Not many purple. Yeah. Not many purple animals. <laughs> Maybe snakes? No, not many purple animals. No. <laughs> Blue and purple you don't tend to see a lot of, unless you're talking about feathers or birds, but... Yeah. yeah. Birds come in pretty much all colors. Yeah. Oh! oh! So close. R, A. So I want the R. You need the X and the R. Ah! Go away! Oh, yeah. too close behind me. I'm not going to do well in this one. Got to step up my game. Okay, let's get that blue. And go over to the R. Get it as a yellow. Nice. Now I just need an X and I get an extra life. To red. It does coincide with the cycle, I think. Mm. Oh, good job, guy. Got him. Ah, uh, he turned around. They yeah, they're that not, doesn't happen too often. No, they're, so they Actually, aren't they in, always you. in hot pursuit. They, they do turn around sometimes. Be a little bit of leeway. Uh, two more. Nope. One more. There we go. Yay! <sighs> Hopefully Good job. Twenty-three twins. Twenty-three. There is an two. X in this level. Oh, they say what's in it. Is that what it is? They say what? Yeah. Uh, there's your X. Go get it. Nope. Nope. Not gonna get it. Oh no! I was going after hearts. Oh, actually, I should go through the center. Damn it! I keep getting distracted. There you go. Another heart there. Oh! Get your X. Oh, he's in the way. Oh. Okay, X. Ah. Yeah, nice little bonus screen. I'm not supposed to do anything there, Mario. Nope, <laughs> no, it just ends the level. Maybe that's where the Easter forward. egg is. Yeah. Oh, it kind of goes to the next level. Oh. It does. Yeah, wow. you you skip the whole level. You skip the whole level. Nice. I don't know. Really harder right. to get a higher score, but you probably get a good probably score is. from the extra. So you get a good score from the extra and for uh, getting an extra life too. There's always something you want. Is this level of broccoli? Mm. Broccolini, more like it. Broccolini. It's not very skinny. It's yeah, a little skinny. I'd yeah. say broccolini rather than broccoli. <laughs> 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 broccolini. Nitpicking, nitpicking the uh, veggies. Yeah, the <laughs> drawing of the veggies. Okay, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to go for specific um, letters now. It's just too fast. Yeah, no, it, it's true. There comes a point where you're just trying to get get through it. Oh, the broccolini's there. Oh, oh what? Why did oh. you do that? So oh, no. Uh, 33. I'm still not, like, at my old score. Oh. Yay. Maybe I'll get some bonus for finishing the level. Tar's 33. He's very oh, he's... So happy about my score. So happy. Ah. Oh, it does flip up pretty fast, doesn't it? Yep. Now they're going to come out. But I got them. Let's get the blue. Now it's red. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the yellow come on. extra. No. Not getting anything. Not getting nope, anything. Not even trying. Nope. It's just too fast. Yeah, it is pretty fast. Oh, got a P. Good job. Oh, accidentally. Accidental stuff is fine with me. It's kind of a nice variation on Pac-Man games. Oh my god. Yeah, I might as well go for that because they're everywhere. Oh, it's, pauses it pauses them! It pauses them very briefly. Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh god! One more life. Well, at least I can clear this board. Hopefully. 
Get quick. I can. They get released real fast. I can do it. Yay! Yay! 45,000! Good job! X, S, and A. Pumpkin level. Oh, it says what it is. Nice. Ah! Ooh, what are those guys? They're Looks like funny. green peppers. <laughs> green peppers. Look little teeth. Little teeth. Oh, those are weird dudes. Weird, 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 weird. Oh, you're doing very well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> they look like teeth. You know, teeth like that are jumping up and down. Dancing teeth. Game over. 47, that was very oh, good. Very, very good. Getting better at the strategy. Yeah. It's clear yeah. the center. Go for the blue. Yep. And then the early Stay levels relax. go for other things. So I'm pretty sure people are playing on this level. Go for the center. Center first. So let me read about the original Ladybug. When it came out. Ladybug video game. Rena set foot says, wow. Not bad. Not bad. I'm very happy. Ladybug is an insect themed maze chase arcade game produced by Universal Entertainment Corporation, released in 1981. Its gameplay is similar to Pac-Man, but the primary addition uh uh, to the formula being gates that change the layout of the maze when used. The arcade original was relatively obscure. Now, I've never seen Ladybug in the arcade. In the arcade? I didn't even know it was an arcade game, in fact. Uh, but the game found wider recognition and success as the launch title for ColecoVision console. That's where I know it from. Uh, the goal of Ladybug is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we already know about that. Ports and Clones. Ladybug was adapted to the home video game systems in Television and ColecoVision. In the ColecoVision version, completing Special puts the player into a bonus level, known in-game as Vegetable Harvest, where the goal is to consume as many randomly placed vegetables as possible within a fixed time. Neither of us has got that because it's quite a long word to it spell out. It is quite a long word to spell out. And I don't know how much actual bonus. Go for Center, then Special. Special is vegetables that some are 5,000 points. Oh. oh, no wonder these high scores. Okay, so you do want to go for special. More than extra. Because that's huge scoring. Okay, I'm going to go... Oh, I didn't mean to hit the, hit the game. Yeah, I did that last game too. Uh. Right on level one or two. So, yeah, we're going to go for special next time. Try or you it. can go for special well, now. It's easier it said is. than done because you need quite a few letters to, to pull that off. And it, they... Yeah, you can only... How many letters is like uh, seven letters? And that would take at least three levels, but you're not going to get them all. Um, so that would take up to level four or five at least, probably, mm -hmm. to get all this special. But it sounds like it's worth it. Um, special does not appear in television. In 1982, a catalog of Atari 2600 cartridges... I reconfigured the lights a little bit, and I think, I think it looks a little bit better. It's not as many shadows now, because um, I'm bouncing one of the lights off the ceiling rather than doing it from the side, so there's not any shadows in behind. It looks a lot better. Um, in 1982, a catalog of the Atari 2600 cartridges manufactured by Coleco said that an Atari 2600 version of Ladybug would be released, but Coleco never released the game. They probably went, um, yeah, that's too hard to make. Because <laughs> this is very challenging because of how complex the maze is and the things in the maze and the number of enemies. Um, I think the biggest issue with the flickering is the doors. That's the hardest part is to mm. show, because they needed to differentiate the doors from the maze. So to do that, they flickered it so that you can see what you can flip. Other than that, they'd have to make it either a different color, which is much harder, and almost impossible, in fact. Um, or, I don't know, flicker it, just like they did. That's the only real way they could do it. So, yeah. And f a lot of people didn't really like flicker. Um, if they could get away with not doing flicker. 
A clone entitled Bumblebee, replacing the main character with a Bumblebee, and the enemies with spiders, released in 1983 and 1984 by Micropower, for the BBC Micro, Acorn Electron, and Commodore 64, which I did not... I never. I don't think I ever played it. I don't remember playing something called Bumblebee that looked like this. That sounds shockingly familiar. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying I played it, but I do... There was a lot of a games. memory of some bump, ah. Bumblebee style games. There's a lot of games on the C64. Oh, I know. So many. And like I said, I would. Most of the games I played were not original. Like <laughs> right, all the knockoffs. I got them from a BBS somewhere. Oh, you're doing so much better. This game. Yeah. Good job. It's all about strategy. Well, sort of. <laughs> it's kind of now when they start getting it gets, starts getting so fast, you're just like, ah, just, just get run. it. Just run. Uh, reception. Ladybug was not a major arcade hit, but it did just all right in the arcades. However, it was recognized for its originality within the maze game genre. Yeah, it's quite a twist on the maze games. With the doors. Uh, but it still had all the telltale signs of maze games. Let's collect the dots, things chase you. There's even four things chasing you, like Pac-Man. There's no really power-ups. Now, that's the big difference. Um, they're more like collecting and spelling, which the other maze games didn't really have the collecting. Uh, but that was a big thing too, is collecting. <laughs> collecting. Oh, it's over. That was bad. Almost had the extra. Hmm. This so wasn't terrible. Continue on with the second. Uh, what am I talking about? Here? Paragraph. <laughs> Just the how well it did. So thirty-one hmm. something arena foot. You got oh, that? I <laughs> hit something. Uh, of course. Okay, good luck. I'm trying to go for special, but I don't know. Could somebody type that uh, score in? 31, 1, something? My score? Yeah. yeah. In the chat? <laughs> it's so much easier <laughs> when it's in easier the chat. Easier to remember and scroll back Yeah, through. afterwards, yeah. There we go. So, special. Um, I do need the eye. There. We do need the E, but now it's changed. We need to drink some coffee before the show. Really? Yeah, I'm just tired. but of course if you drink coffee before the show, that would be a bad thing. Because you'd never get to sleep. That's true. Always trouble. Okay, now I do need the red E, but am I going to make it there? Yes, there we go! So we are going to try for that special, is it harvest? Vegetable, vegetable harvest. harvest. Yay! Vegetable harvest. That sounds like fun. Yes. So off to a good start. I've got two yeah, on the good, first level. Good. Special, special. So P and E I need is red. P, P and, and E, e red, red. And then the X. So or center. E. And then blue. Blue. It's going to flip. It's going to flip. Yeah. Oh, wait. It doesn't take long. Come on, come on, come on! Except when you want it to. So there's the P. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! P. I'm not gonna get to the E in time. Nope. You don't need the E anyway. Oh! Don't I? Oh, I need the E. No, I don't need either of those. I'm just going for special. I don't care about anything else. And, you know, not dying. And not dying, which is my main goal. It's definitely my main goal is not dying. Get out of here. Get out of here. These doors are really, really handy if you can yeah, manipulate if you, them if well. Yeah, if you can uh, manage them, get them, Manage them, yeah, the way yeah. you want them to be. Oh, he got the score up the board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is it I supposed to? Or was it the arena, arena foot? <gasps> Thing. Oh. What are those worth? I bet they're worth oh, 2000. 2000. It'll say how much they're worth. Not it's bad if you can get it. It's a big yep. chunk. What are you doing? I'm scared. Yeah, I see something. Those cats always see something. Because they see shadows really well. There we go. Okay, what do I need? A? A I T? Mm -hmm. No, just the A. Okay. Do it now. Well, mm. it's a little bit easier. 
then the rest don't matter. Right? Yep. Oh, I got it. <laughs> an S, a C, and an L, though. So, I have to do, like, three more levels before I can get all those. Mm -hmm. They're obviously planned out beforehand. I don't think it's too random, or maybe it is random. I don't know. Did it say? That's one of those things that I think isn't it is in. random. It doesn't appear to be too... Um... So it's one of those things that's not in the manual. It's like, oh, what is the randomness of this or that? Or get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> get out of... I think they have some homing beacon for... Oh, good job. That was, like, that was tricky. Hang around. Okay, X-S-A-S. One letter. Oh. oh, it's so fast now. Well, you try to get the rest as yellow, then you're good. Just the S, you need S. red. It's gonna turn. Come on, come on, come on. Stop it. They move real fast. They do, it's terrible. get it it'll be like a year before it comes back up again because there's no s in extras oh. oh i was pressing up but it was to the right it's a little sensitive sometimes is that my first death yeah it was uh, i think so okay not bad i'll take it yeah so you have to be really careful around the careful Careful around the skulls. That guy knows where the white things are, I swear. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Good job. 40? Okay, X S E S. Okay, so it did come back. Where's the. S is at the top. Hearts. Get that heart. I don't have enough time to do that. But I will. Get that when it's blue. Then I'm gonna wait here. Come on. There. Now it's go for it time. <laughs> Just get get everything. I don't care. No, I don't need it at all. Ah, ah. Oh, there are too many around me. Oh, well, I beat my old score. That's something. Not enough, though. I have to get, like, 80,000 to beat the next be score the up. Oh, really? Yeah, no. It's The next jump is quite big. I should have got those in the middle. No, we got those. Oh, that's not too bad. Oof, oof, oof. Making some poor decisions there. Guys, just home in now. Okay. Woo. So there's no countdown timer. You don't get penalized for being slow or just well, hanging around. Well, you kind of do because more bugs get released as time yes. goes on. So unless oh, you can so trap There's a seal or L? See, there's an L, right? There's an L. You need a red. I'll go for that red right now. Good. You need a C. There's no C. No. So. Come on. Turn. Sometimes it seems like it takes forever to... Turn to blue when you want it to. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, just in time. <sighs> so AI on this. Or the Seemingly AI is really good. <laughs> really nasty, in fact. Ah, oh, no! Ooh, cornered. Ah, now they go back in and they don't get the tomato. Those are really hard to get. Yeah, they are. Because they're trapped. Like, look at where the center yes. is. Like, you have to go in it and out. It depends on the level, but some are worse, aren't they? This one is a bad one. Yeah. Because you have to completely go inside and then you have to get out again. Good job. 
Woo! You're doing T-I-A, well. T-I-A, no C's. Oh, <laughs> I have to do a whole other level, I and mean, this is the this tooth was... level. The tooth level. It isn't like a tooth. It's like a tooth that's jumping up and down. It's actually a good idea to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. They're just on you. They're really fast. They're just on you. I guess it clears them out of the center quick, and then you can get the bonus, but... Ooh. That was just... That was lucky. It looked like skill, but it was not skill. <laughs> just to let you know. That was skill. That was skill. <laughs> that was skill. That was skill. This is not. <laughs> They're just relentless. Yes. They are out of their hidey hole, but there's no way I can get in there. Get the pumpkin? Yeah. A uh, yellow bell pepper. Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're out of it. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. Woo! Oh no, there's one more. Oh my god. Uh, there's one more. Uh, oh no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Oh move, my god, that was move, so, move. so <laughs> That was close. good. Bamboo so shoot. Wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. Is there a C? No. No. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, look at them. Oh, they're so funny. Damn it. What a terrible one. Oh, oh, they're wiggly. I like them. They're so funny. Damn it. 63. Oh. 63620. What was the high score? Arena foot, 75. 75? Oh, Something like that. Pretty good. I think I could probably do it on the next one. Hopefully. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's 75. 72. 72. 63620 level 8. I'm in a solid 6th place. Very, very solid 6th. I'm not too worried about that. Unless people below me or a new contender comes in. I'll be pretty safe. So, actually, I'll take this... What else do I have to say about this game? Let's see. Let's see what it says in the Atari Age store, where you can buy it. Not this version, not the special version. Um, they've got the normal version. It doesn't... Oh, and no box either. But it's only $25, so that's pretty cheap, actually. Unlike boxed versions, which are usually 45 to 60 American. <laughs> of which we pay so much more! Ah! Oh, so much more! Let's see. Includes cartridge, 12 page full color manual, available in NTSC and PAL 60. Label design, Nathan Strum. Author, John Shampo. Can I open the door? It's really. Small. Yeah, go ahead. Right now? Mm -hmm. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you almost good. died! You almost killed me! Can I go now? Ah! It's quick. Oh, also, I've got speakers now. So we'll be able to hear the Atari Vox on new games, and we won't have to guess what it says. <laughs> um, so I can... Ugh, still stinks from cats. Uh, yeah. Stinky cats. Scoop out their litter box, which I actually might just do. Um, so I'll have it running through the speakers, and then going into my mixing board. Don't, don't ignore getting letters for extra. Just focus on special first. Oh, I don't know. It just gets so hectic. So hectic. There's no time. I need like a co-pilot saying, okay, get the A when it's red. Yeah. Maybe you can But help. even that, even that, it's like you have to be right there when it I'm happens. I'm waiting. Ah. Oh, you can I should have done that first. Yeah, yeah always. Okay. okay, I gotta... I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why we closed the door. <laughs> XCA.
entertaining the crowds? Nope. <laughs> Concentrating hard on the game? Yeah. In silence? <laughs> um. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm... Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 18,000. Oh, you can get an R for an extra life. Oh, I know. Oh, you only died once. That was your first death. No, it wasn't. No? Not. Okay. No. <laughs> it's dinner time and Ladybug is ready to eat. Take a st stroll through the garden and nibble on rows and rows of pretty flowers. Ah, so they're flowers. Is that a thing? Uh, they are in this game. <laughs> there are many dangerous insects that just love to eat ladybugs. <clears throat> and they're fast, too. Blocked away by swinging gates closed. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, while many prototypes of unreleased games have surfaced over the years, there are a few notorious titles that have not. This includes Ladybug. A title that appeared in arcades and was even advertised in the Coleco's Atari 2600 catalog, but never saw the light of day. It's not even known if work was ever begun on the 2600 port. Well, Atari 2600 fans no longer have to wait for a version of Ladybug. As Atari enthusiast John Champeau has developed a remarkable 2600 version. John's first Atari 2600 homebrew game was Conquest for Mars, one of the finest homebrews to be developed for 2600, of course, since then he's going on to make lots of other games. Um, and many in the works, like, are just almost done. It's crazy. Like, Mappy, which is going to be coming out at PRGE. I don't think it's been announced yet, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, for sale at PRGE. Nice. And, of course, um, Wizard of War, which is going to be on demo at PRGE. Um... If you've ever played Ladybug in the arcade or on the ColecoVision, you'd be, be amazed how faithful the 2600 version is to the original. Yeah, it's totally... Mm -hmm. This is the game. Everything's there. And made on pure assembly with no help from anything. Oh yeah, you need that. You should hang around it. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it! And you finished the level. Move the joystick, see if it doesn't. It doesn't. No? Okay. I thought there was a, like an Easter egg there or something. Good job. Oh, oh, and he gets, lands up at the end. Oh, see? so you get your life That's back. That's so cute. Oh, I like that. So all the blue, get the center. Oh, too late. Too late. Well, it's, it's Draw not. Draw them out and ah. then get the center. <laughs> You're just going for it. Yeah, at this point they're just moving real fast. <laughs> too hard. So yeah, this was made uh, 12 years ago. That's crazy. Um, so what other what else do I have here? Oh, some in information that uh, was posted by Al on the PRGE listing oh. for games that are on demo. It says, Wizard of War Arcade by John Champeau. Wizard of War is a new port of the 1981 Bally Midway Arcade game of the same name, with, with considerable improvements over the CBS version released 35 years ago. So it was released in Flickr Vision back, <laughs> back in the... Oh, it was terrible. Everything's so <laughs> flickery in the original Wizard of War. Um, a lot of games were because they just didn't know that they should turn them off sometimes and turn them back on or they just weren't really good at programming that kind of thing but it does did exist um, flicker handling back then some games had it uh, actually i won't read that out because that's like giving away stuff let's read about amoeba jump oh no that would give it away too oh, i don't want to give away any of this stuff i mean it's all available there uh, I'm going to read about High Score, Screen Burn, Slow Burn. A game that is maybe not a game. Objective, get the high score. Players, one or fewer. Controls, maybe. It's how to play. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you did much better again. Um, I've been slowly getting better. <laughs> That's good. Now, I will need your help for this one. Okay, what am I doing? You're reading, you're going to tell me what color um, to get. For each letter you get close? Or? Yeah, when I'm getting close to it, you say, oh, get that in yellow. Okay, I will in... do my best. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, I need we'll help. See. We'll see. I need help. Yeah, I can help you. Okay. 
Cucumber, T, C, A. C and A for red. A can be either color, T, yellow, No, I want to get red. red. I want to get well, red. Well, then get A and red. T, well, T is yellow anyway. Which two? In red. A and C are A in and red. C red. Okay. Ah! Oh! And T can be yellow. Three times. Go for the A. There. No, nope, too late. You have to literally sit by it. Yes. There you go, that's fine. Okay. Get red for those other two. Red? Okay. They must be red. I will go near them. I'll go for red on the C. Should be so. Ah, ah. Good. One of them died. Being foolish. I got foolish, foolish move. Foolish bugs. Foolish bugs. So I did. I, see, that helped. I got all three letters in know. the proper color. Okay. So just keep on going. But just announce you're, the red first. You're focused on the red, so I'll. I'll uh... Yeah. R L A. L. <sighs> R yellow. L red. A doesn't matter. If you don't care. So basically, L you want red. Just talk, tell me about red. And then L, all the rest red. are yellow, in my opinion. Sorry, R is... Yellow. L is red. L is red. Just focus on L red, and if you get the other ones in yellow, that's a bonus. Yes. That was terrible. I want yes. to start the game over. There you go. The other ones, if you can get yellow, great. If you can't... Good job! Woohoo! Only I need two more for an extra life. Mm -hmm. so now it's just clean up. Just S. Yellow. All I care about is red. Just S. say red to me. Don't tell me about well, you're yellow. You're already deciding for yourself. Anyway, so. <laughs> S needs to be red. That's it. Okay. See, okay. that's all I care the about. The other ones, you, well, the A doesn't matter. It, if you can get the X in yellow, great. X in yellow. Yeah. Okay. A doesn't matter. Oh! oh you accidentally hit the gate sometimes. Isn't that annoying? Bye, Wade Rain. <laughs> and catch the rest on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Which we're almost done. Yellow, get it! <laughs> and A is nothing. A does not. Okay. If you want to get it, if you don't, just meh. Get it times five. Does it matter if you get it in blue? I don't know if it matters. It, it seems, seems to. Like it, it doesn't seem to matter what you get the so hearts. It's always in. times five. I think maybe you just no, get a higher hearts. score if it's in, if it's red. Okay. Oh, what did you do? You were so close to the special and the extra. No, it's terrible. I okay. died on the first level. It P was red, uh, red, E red, X yellow. P, P and E in e red. Just go P and E. There you go. Oh, but it's okay, it's okay! You've got the E for the extra. Don't give up so quickly. Uh, Get the P in red. Got my there, tail. There you go. That's fine. Then. Mm. And then the X, if you can get in yellow, all the better. If you could do it on any level, you could do it on this level. So yeah, exactly. once it gets past that, it's oh. a lot harder. <laughs> I don't think it matters. You get the, you get the modifier anyway. Oh, well, you missed it. Um, no, uh, if you get... You do get the modifier, but you don't get the five times modifier. No, you do. I swear. Oh, it's three. It's no? three right now. It maxes out at three? No. Nope. Maxes out at five. Oh, there's trouble over there. Hey! <laughs> Cat trouble. <laughs> Trying to get our attention or something. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, bad cats. Generally bad. They're just generally bad. Yes, they are. Out of my face, bugs. <laughs> Yay! Now 
this game is so much worse. Look, one. L. L. L in red. That's it. And E in red. And E? Yeah, L There's and E in e? red. Yes, okay. in special there is. Okay. Oh! I didn't do that! <laughs> I think you did. I didn't do that. <laughs> it was scratching and then it went up. My joystick's to blame. Ah! Bug there. Ugh, no. <sighs> yes, they're fighting. <laughs> they are yeah. fighting. They're very bad cats. They are brothers, so they fight once in a while, but mostly they cuddle and they're fine. Oh, T and what? Red? Yellow? Yellow. Oh, okay, good. But they fight sometimes. Not like vicious fighting, just annoying fighting. It's kind of like for dominance, really. Fighting for dominance. Yeah. I'm the dominant cat. No, I'm the dominant cat. They both do it. Yeah. So you just have to remind them that it's not good to do it. <laughs> S, S and A. S and A in red. S and A in red. Okay. R or yellow. If you nope. It's A red for S first. It's too much to remember. S and A in red. Get it, get, oh. I'm not going to sacrifice that. Points, points are really what I'm going for. So I'll get this done. Be happy to. What? What did I say? I'd be happy to come back there and give distracting belly rubs. Yes. Thanks, Greg. They would. They would love that. <laughs> One of them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the black and white one. Would the other one would kill you. Off, but you know. <laughs> but Atari would to love the cats, mind you. The what? What? You don't want a belly rub, my? Uh... <laughs> ah, kill, kill, kill. Come here. Are you this gonna guy. demonstrate the yeah. death by belly death rub? Death by belly rub, right here. <sighs> oh. The, to the cats, oh, mind you. He licked my hand, though. <laughs> oh. No. A good lick? I don't know. Probably priming me for for um, eating. So. Tasting lick. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, tasty. Tasty, yeah. That black and white cat. Yeah. The little devil cat. He is the devil cat, and the other one's the angel cat. Yeah, sort of. So I only need one more for... Uh, uh, special, so L red. L red, okay. Oh, get this out first. Rest doesn't matter. L red. Okay, I'll over there. Ah, stop it. See, five times. See, he's hanging around the L. Why are you hanging around the L? Huh? <laughs> oh! No, don't do it. Don't do it. Get out of the way. Get some other stuff. You're just going to wait there and more bugs are going to get released. <laughs> and they'll hang around and they'll more. They'll hang around more. Oh. Ah! They're all like, you want the L. They are. Look at them. <laughs> There must be some AI in, like, oh, what's left? Is there any letters left that they like? Oh. Um, what's the red letter? Let's go for that. Oh. <coughs> okay, this is not going well. Not See, well. it's unfortunate because if you focus on the letters too much, you get you distracted forget. and you yeah. die. Because you're hanging around letting the there. letting everything okay. in or letting, letting them all into the maze. You're waiting, waiting, waiting. But supposedly it's a big score. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, wrong way. Oh. And now it's over. That was terrible. Now you did worse than I did the last game. Did you play again? Yes. Oh. Terrible. Angry kitty. Wow. Angry kitty. Come here. Come on. No, squish the cat. <laughs> Come. He's going to bite me. <laughs> so much cat anger. E red, yeah, T yellow, yeah. Okay. 
job. Oh, good job. It's a little slower on the, the yeah. initial levels. Yeah, so you have a little bit more time, but you still have to take that into account. Okay, bugs. Get out of my way. Best not to die or make mistakes in the first, le <laughs> it's best in the first levels. Yeah, I agree. It is best not to die or make mistakes. Because it's ridiculous to do that. Yay! I suppose we could hang around and wait till they all come out. I T I E I E Yeah, no. You have all Nothing. of them. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't help you in the slightest. Wonderful. Any of them? You have all of them. T I and E. For both? You can get E for yellow. Okay. E yellow. Uh yeah. Yeah. No! Oh, wrong one. Oh well. Went too early. That's so frustrating. Because you know it won't happen for a, a little while again, possibly. That you have a chance to get that letter again. Yeah. Are you mad at me? X L A L A L N A. Okay. X yellow. No, so L and no A yellows. red. Don't read out yellow. I'm I just memorized red. it. L and A red. L and A red. L A red. Thinking you could make it. It's a little bit it off. Takes if they're a in a little bit. Oh, you got one. Uh -huh. If they were in a row, I could probably do that, but they were just too far. <gasps> I had lots of guys. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. Score wise, you're doing Score pretty good. Score wise, good. pretty good. I'm so far from special. I'm just not special. You're not special. No, no. not in this game. Yay! A A R L A L L red. L. Bugs everywhere. It's dangerous. Ah, it's too dangerous. Oh, oh. just missed it. <laughs> oh. Well, you can now wait for the red. Now's the time to do it. Yep, do it. Parsley. I thought it was broccoli. Parsley makes sense. Yeah. Looks like parsley. It's funny. I like that. Oops. Oh, you need that in red. Uh, yeah, the rest you don't care. Get at this point, no. Oh my god. you off the pass. That guy. Ooh, that was a good decision on his behalf. Well, bad decision on his behalf. Good for me. He turned around there. Are they faster than me? Nope. I'm just faster than them still. Thank you. No, he did that. 
<laughs> He's the foolish bug that ran into that. Ah, it's too many. Too many. Oh, the You could have gone the parsley, yeah. Didn't see That's it. Okay. R C A C. So C. Okay. C red. Turn! Turn! I didn't know where the bar was. It's. I'll go back down now. Oh, good. Get it. There you go. If you get the E yellow, all the better. But if yeah. you can't, don't okay. worry about it too much. I'll head over there. Come on. Come on. There you go. If you survive. <laughs> Thank you. Your vote of confidence. <laughs> Tough. Yeah, it's not the wiggle oh. ones. I can't remember what the wiggly level was, but there you go. Yeah. Woo! Saw Coleco Vit Lady Vision Ladybug verse, then oh. later the arcade. P oh. red. P. P red, and if you can get the R, you'll get an extra life. If you get the R yellow. Ooh. Okay. Well, I need one of both of those. I would go for the E and the R personally. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. I don't care about that. R? R and yellow. No, that's too late. Oh. Oh, 60,000. Good job. And now you get an extra life. Yes. Now I need the S and the P. Just the P on this level. Ugh. Bamboo shoot. This is where I've never P -red, made it past. P red, P red, P red. So fast that it changes fast, so that's a good thing. Good. This is insanity. It's gonna get that extra life. Oh, insanity. There's a lot more to go on this board. I'm gonna clear up the center. So quick to move. Wiggly, 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 wiggly worms. Why don't they hang around? They like quarter you. That's it, oh, 66. 66 oh, I I oh. Did better. That was good. That was good. Are you One done? More? No, I'm 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 getting <laughs> that, that heady sensation. Oh, okay. I've been doing it for a little too long, so Yeah. I... Yeah. I think I'm good. Okay. I think I've maxed out. <laughs> I think you did really well. 66, yep. 050. Oh, yep. What was the high score? 100 and something? The high score is yeah. like 300,000. Really? I, don't, I have no idea how that's possible, but Lots of hard work. every single time Lots I play, of hard work. play in one of these tournaments, I always wonder how the person at the mm -hmm. top score gets the top score. But they did say that they played on the arcade version. 349,000 mm. is the top score. And then second and third are in the 200s. Fourth is Thomas Yentz at 128. Mm. Impaler 26 at 72,000. Wow. So I'm pretty solid sixth place. Yeah. <laughs> which gives me five points, which keeps me in the rankings. Not bad. Yeah. Should have got a red P before you spelled extra. I know. I know. Maybe I should play one more. Just to get special. Like, I need to get that special. You're desperate to get that special. T-I-E. Just the I. Terrible. It is random, isn't it? It's definitely random. Come on. Change. I'm so slow on these levels. God, it's red for so long now. Oh, 
But it is red for long. Let's go. Yellow. Oh, more red. Oh, red. I need red works red. too. Yeah, you die. Yeah, you get him. And I'm going to get the center thing in this one. Yeah? I think so. It's worth like a thousand points. Which is... That is a lot of points. And this, at this time, it's pretty easy to avoid these guys. Well, unless you get everything. I'm not going to. <laughs> it's going to take a while. There's no time limit. What do you think? Is it a good tactic or bad tactic? I'm going to try. Remember, once you get it, they freeze, so... Oh, okay. So if you end up... Well, if you're cornered, you're cornered. That would be kind of sucky. Yay! <laughs> Don't wait for the music. Uh, RCE, uh... C. The C red? Yeah. the center. Yep. There you go. E yellow. Yep. So, uh, yellow I'm not gonna make it. No, that's okay. But I will get those two blue hearts to get me five times. And then kinda I have to <laughs> I can't wait. Guy was right on my tail. It's either die or get a, no, a red R, which is fine. Extra life would be nice, but I'm not gonna lose one to get one. Oh, somebody's buzzing me, sending me messages. Probably telling me, telling me that oh, it could be. Tell me that I should play better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to go for that center thing. It's just too risky. If it it's is. there, if it's, it's there. If it's there, great, yeah. So L red, A red. Ooh, good. Okay. Oh, now it's moving. L. L red. I thought I wasn't going to A red. Oh, it's uh, pretty, get yellow, still pretty yellow long. R. Well, it's yep. too late now. No, no, no. It's not. They're pretty slow right now still. So I'll clear this area out and do it hang around here for a red. There we go. Good Two job. away now. I think Good I can job. do it. It's funny if when you, you get lucky. If I get lucky. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, with random. the letters, right? The it's letters, seemingly random. They seem random. If you get X and A yellow, you get an extra life. Really? Yeah. Oh. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? X and A yellow, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. About to get yellow. Oh. oh. I couldn't wait. Get the X. Get the X. S, you want red. Why am I being forced into getting things? It's so yeah. terrible. Yeah, you die. I know. No. That was too risky. Come on. Come on! Change! Why is it so long, but then so short? And whenever... It knows. It knows. There it is. Get it! One away from special with all my lives. 
All your lives? No, you've oh. died once, haven't you? No, I haven't died. Yeah. I've got three. Three bugs. I think you have five lives. I don't have five lives. No? No. Well, no. Good job. Five lives. I'm on radish? <laughs> radish <level. laughs> Looks like a radish. Bad, but in this, it is fine. What am I doing? I don't know. You want P red? P Where red. is the P? Down at the bottom. Kay. Bottom right. P red. Okay. Oh, too late. Get it in a second. Oh, it's so slow. Why is it so slow? No, it's really slow. What is happening? Are you in a different? Are Kay. you a slow I'm bug? Hanging around. I'm not a slow bug. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. There. Woo! Special veggie bounty veggie harvest. Veggie bounty harvest. <laughs> uh. Get him! Get him! Quick! 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 Get him all! How much time do I have? I don't know, but get him all. I think it's over. Oh, not quite. <gasps> Look at that 000. score! That's how you get it. Oh, now no we wonder. know. <laughs> Now I get an extra life with the A. Yeah, A. Red A. Oh, yellow A. <laughs> That's why they have such high scores. Because they did bounty harvests. T I A. Yeah. I and A. I A red. Glad I played one more game. Oh, you've got the <laughs> stupid moldy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yellow moldy teeth. Slow, eh? It is. Did, did one of the settings get swapped? No. Weird. It's just really slow. Yeah. Like super slow now. Like like half speed or something. Maybe it resets after special or. I don't know. Ah 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 ah. Ooh 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 ooh. Oh. Ooh, that was tough. 108,000. Awesome! <laughs> oh, Arena Foot uh, typed in the 108,000. Yeah. Just as a. Okay, what do I need? I, I is, red. is red, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hang around here a little bit. There you go. Okay. See, now I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, you can get 300,000. Yeah, you just need to get about a vegetable harvest. Like two of them. Three Probably in a row? three. Three in a row. Probably three, because it's so hard to get that. Maybe two. Look, I'm already at a 121, so. X P E uh, E. X yellow e. P red. Peony red. P and E red. Yeah. Oh. Look at the E red. Come on, come on, come on. She's so long. Yeah, it's weird. No complaints, though. No, well, as long it makes as you it a know. lot easier. It's a lot easier to get. They were flipping so quickly before. It must be a difficulty setting that's got switched. I haven't switched. touched anything. I haven't either. That's so strange. But it does. It is making it easier. So the bugs aren't easier. No, but the bugs are exactly the same. Just the speed was X is yellow. Come on. Ah. So slow. Oh get it! God. The middle thing! Oh, you should have gotten the middle thing. Okay. You had the perfect opportunity to get the thing in the middle. Nice. Got the bamboo shoot! Mm -hmm. mm. That's, bamboo shoot so good. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> there, we had dinner. We had dinner. Mm, bamboo shoots. Oh, oh I thought it was you're one away. One. You're so close, though. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Woo! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> SCL. L. Japanese radish. Ooh. Part 9. L red. Just L red. L red. Just L red. What are the bugs? Beetles? Oh, they're all different. Oh. Oh my goodness. You're like at the special fancy level. They're all different. That's so cute. 
turn yellow. There you go. Red. Oh, the radish is exposed now. Oh, oh, ah! Ugh. Ooh, it's tough now. Mm. Red, go at her. Teaming up all the baddies. Bastards. Can completely block off. Almost completely. Almost That's completely. Amazing. Yeah. There's definitely a strategy here. Oh! Oh! So close. So close. That was terrible. They're just all gathered in the oh, area. Oh, they're so fast, though. Huh. <sighs> 144. Part 10, Mushroom! S. X. S. Just S. S. Yeah, I agree. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Fix says James is on a roll. Not doing too bad. Uh, uh, uh. Don't hit the skull. Yeah, the skulls kind of get in your way sometimes. Lucky I'm not terrible at video games. Oh, oh as I die for my last life. Yeah, that was <laughs> extremely good though. Oh, that's one to retire on. Yeah. One fifty-five fifty. Yeah. Good job. I'm glad you played that last game because yeah, that was because quite a bit getting different. this special made a huge difference. So. Oh yeah. Were you playing on novice? Yep. Didn't count. What? I must have. I have to review the footage, but I must have been because it was so different. Never mind. S strike that score. <sighs> You're playing again? Mm. One more. One more. That's why they didn't change very quickly. Yeah. What's the letters? I? I red, T, no, E red. T, yellow. I just need reds. It's too confusing. So I, no I'm just saying just I, say and, I and E red. Yeah, look how fast it is. Ooh, arena foot. It's 11. <laughs> yes, it is. It's kind of... Obviously not easier, but it's kind of easier when it switches quickly. I don't think so. Because you don't have to wait around so long. Yeah, but for you it get a switch. lot of time to to run over to it and get it. Uh, but you have to wait and sit there for so oh, long. I don't think so. It gives you time to like do stuff and then get back over. I, maybe. Okay, what what do I need? I. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it. Doing. It's a scratch in the box. Get your. Uh -huh. I love the music. The music's <laughs> so cute. Great. Yeah. We're gonna. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. Yes. P e r nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm so 
so sorry. It's so annoying. Indignity of it. The indignity. Being picked Being up like a soft, gray rag. Being soft, sweet. Oh cute. my god. It's 11 p.m. Curfew. Do you know where your cats are? <laughs> Indignant. Indignant cuddles. <laughs> that is not an easy word. Oh, okay, okay. Come on, stay. You want to stay. You know you do. Oops. Getting all crazy with the flippies. T C A C N A. Pointed that out. <laughs> I feel bad. Cucumber! Cute! It's cucumber level! Well, that's ah, a fun game. Yes. That is that really is funny. That is really good, and I will probably play that again and again. Again, yeah. Because it's. It is a really good it's game. It's really good. It's a little bit easy on the. I love. I easy. love. I thought I was doing good, but the no, levels. I was not. I, I love the all the little baddies. I love the rotten teeth. Um, <laughs> they're all very cute. Oh yeah. One second, let me just bring up my where's my schedule. There it is. Yeah. Ooh, oh the the characters are amazing. The, the mechanics of the game are really good. The letters that you have to get, mm -hmm. the combos. Fun to watch. That's good. That is good. That is fun to watch. Yeah, it is a fun game to watch. Yeah. Um so we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Oh, that didn't work. Um stay there we have some cool streams coming up soon obviously the next one on friday if everything goes well which i think it will because we're really close to getting the problem solved is the wizard of war arcade mm. premiere live streaming premiere of the game um that's on friday it's going to be 6 p.m mm -hmm. uh you and me mm -hmm. um and it's two-player game so it's going to be super I awesome <laughs> sorry, not yawning at all. I'm just She's yawning. just opening her I'm mouth so sorry. and not saying anything. Uh, mm. um, and then on Wednesday, we have some very cool um, premieres as well and some updates. Mm. We have... Not, 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 I don't want to kill you. <laughs> okay. Uh, early, early on, we played this game, a, like when we first Spies started. In the night. Spies yeah. in the Night. Yeah. I got the special edition copy with a whole bunch of bonuses and stuff in it. Mm. The sequel is coming out. And I have the exclusive on Wednesday. Oh, next Wednesday. Oh, that's exciting. And it is like this, except times 10. It is like really, really, really cool. Mm. I played it for a little bit. Um, so that's going to be fun. And also, uh, Amoeba Jump. The final version of Amoeba Jump. We are going to get a, a preview of it. Then. We're going to get the preview of Woo! what's going to go on the cartridge. Nice. At PRGE. That's exciting. That's very, very exciting. That's a fun game. Um, I think that's demoing at PRGE because it's just a little bit too short of the time frame, I think, oh, to get I on see. cartridge to get it or something. on the actual, yeah. Yep. We're finally going to be able to play uh, Night Guy in Low Res World. Because <laughs> okay. it was flipping out like crazy before. Okay. But I have tested it, the newest version. He's fixed 99% of the line count issues. There's only a tiny line count that it flips up just a bit between levels, but not enough to kill the screen. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a huge update on Temple Runner, which was which was Escape from Cuckoo Cuckoo Temple. Okay. So that's a huge work in progress update. Um, that might be enough <laughs> to fill 
the whole... I think so. That sounds like a full uh, day of gaming. So. Yeah, because there's a lot to all of those games. Mm -hmm. So I may not add another one to that. Because I do want to play um, Night Guy. Mm -hmm. It has like 30 levels to it. And they're all unique puzzles. Puzzles, challenges. Mm -hmm. And Spies in the Night I know is a bit of a longish game. Okay. And a bit of a challenge. So I think I'll stick with four. Four games, so we'll stick with those. Um, and then coming up on the 31st, mm -hmm. it actually Halloween. Halloween, so we're going to be playing a whole bunch of Halloween homebrew. Mm. And I've been hunting and hunting, and I did find some Halloween Halloween homebrew. Excellent. Um, like five or six of them. Really? Okay. It, good. it was a bit of a dig, but I did find some. Um, and there's a thread in the Atari Age forums on that. Um, we're gonna, we'll be doing the same thing in, in December for mm. holiday games. Yeah probably following along with Arena Foot's book that he is going to be putting out okay. in the holidays about Excellent. holiday games. Excellent. So we'll be playing a lot of those in coincide to coincide with his book. Um, obviously we have the twenty the Atari <laughs> Atari Awards. 2018 Atari Awards. Um, so right now we've got a thread going and we've got a pretty solid list of every game that's been put out in 2018. Mm. Um, so just check out that thread on Atari Age. Um, Witches Brew says Homestar. What? <laughs> I know Homestar. <laughs> um, but I don't know Witches Brew. Is that a game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wizard of War Arcade. So nice. Sequel. No. Wizard of War is not... Well, I suppose, what am I talking about? Yeah, Spies in the Night sequel. Yeah, all great upcoming things. Very good. 2018 Atari Awards, which will be uh, voted, starting to vote on on January 1st. Nice. So you guys, all of you, yes, you out there watching this, will be able to vote for your favorite homebrew, um, most anticipated game, like work in progress games that's going to come out but didn't come out in 2018. You know, like best graphics, best, best sound, um, best music. Um, we've got some other categories as well that we're not we're just figuring out all the categories right now we're gonna have physical prizes we're gonna have them to um, video conference in so they can accept their awards live it'll all be broadcast live it's like the oscars except for homebrew mm. it's gonna be a lot of fun cool and you're gonna be there yeah all dressed up yay yeah we're all gonna be nicely I don't, dressed I, up. I don't need much of an excuse so no <laughs> any excuse to be dressed up yeah. that's for sure okay so that's all coming up uh, anything else? No, those are the big things. Lots of, always lots of fun games coming up. Mm -hmm. And of course, next month, we're going to be playing the next game, which I'm not sure what the next game is on the homebrew tournament. Let me quickly find that out. Um, hopefully it's a game that I'm decent at. Um, but so far, I'm just okay <laughs> at these games, which is good enough. Yeah, <laughs> good enough. Where's the list? Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Uh, October Seaweed Assault, a game I haven't played. Oh, cool. So I don't know if I'm good at it or not. Yeah, we'll so have to see. That'll be fun. Yeah. And then December Stay Frosty Two, which is a hard game. Yes. But it's a platformer. I'm not terrible at it. But there's a lot of. It is a I, challenging game, though. Uh, le a lot of levels that need a little bit of memorization because they're always the same. Wear the ready shirt. That's cool. And I'll actually be dressed up, like dressed up in a, in a suit <laughs> for the Atari Awards, not not a t-shirt like and that. And we'll put a pixel in his uh, tuxedo. <gasps> a little bow tie. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Do you have the Atari computer XEGS? Yes, I do. I don't have the computer, but I have the XEGS. So I don't have the keyboard and the light gun for it. Not too interested in the, the keyboard part of it because I wouldn't use it. Dusty. But Ooh. I do need to um, get some games for it. I don't have any games, which is very sad. So mm. hopefully I'll be able to find... Actually, Maybe. I do have some, but they don't work. Arr! Always test your games mm. when buying them. Or maybe it's the Atari that doesn't work. Any, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Something. I'll have to buy some more games when I'm down there. Um, that's about it. So the next show is on Friday, Friday. 6 p.m. Pacific time. Yes, please send me anything on cart. I love it. Yes, I don't. I don't have Atari Blast um, for XEGS. I can't remember what I do have because I haven't played it because it didn't work. Yes. Hi. Are you going to wear your tuxedo? So 6 yeah. p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time, Friday. Big debut, Wizard of War. Unless something terrible goes wrong, 
Hi. And, um, and I'll be sending out notifications, obviously, in the forums and all your favorite Facebook um, and Instagram. Make sure you follow us and make sure you subscribe to uh, YouTube and to Twitch and all the rest of that. 2017 just released. No cart release. Hmm. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no cart release, but you're going to send Atari it to me Blast? on cart? How do you send it on cart if there's no cart? Funny. Do it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Funny see stuff. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens <laughs> of this no cart cartridge. Um, so that's it for this week. Not this week. Today. Mm. We'll see you on Friday. Mm -hmm. So thanks for hanging out with uh, us and Pixel and Atari. Mm -hmm. And you'll be back on Friday with yeah, me. I will. Excellent. Yeah. So hope you run long Friday night after work late Friday yeah, night. We will do what we can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fun game. It's hard and challenging. Atari Max programmable cart. <gasps> that would be amazing because that's the multi cart. <laughs> that, would, yeah, I, I, that would be amazing because then I can play all the games. On the uh, XCGS. On, on the XCGS. There you go. Oh, thank you for the offer, I supposed to. Um, you can find out my address on Facebook if you go in the info. Um, or just message me and I can send that to you. Just message me on wherever you want to message me. <laughs> All those places. Um, so that's it for us. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Arena Foot, I supposed to, Mr. Fix. Uh, Gredums. Gredums, Wade Rain. Uh, way back. Uh, Bob Leg 3. Bob Leg 3. Oh, that's a new name. Oh, you just noticed my shirt. Love it. Yes, yeah. this is a Commodore 64 shirt. <laughs> Anybody who has ever owned a Commodore 64 has this in, like, yep. burned into their retinas. Yeah. Um, Mr. Fix. Oh, I didn't see all this. I was playing. Uh, Tiki, Tiki Dan, Dan K. Tiki. Atari Spot. Uh, who else? Jared Gray West. Who is the programmer for Spies in the Night? I might think it's somebody else. Maybe I better not say that stuff. I'm terrible yeah, don't for names. Stay out <laughs> and Ground don't Trooper. Know. Ground Trooper. So thanks for hanging out with us. And have a good night. Sorry for keeping everybody up yeah. so late. Oh, actually, it's not it's that not late. It's not too bad. No. We just ran 12 minutes over the time. No, it's all good. It's all good. Complaining. And look at this cat, the black and white cat. Oh, he's happy. Say good night. Yeah, he's so happy. Good night. So good night and have a good Thursday and we'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.